Hello there Potter friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brandy with Simply Potter and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own chocolate frog costume. But first, if you're new to the channel, hello and welcome. Be sure to click the subscribe button and notification bell down below if you want to be made aware of when more cosplay creation videos come out on the channel. Now today, we are going to be DIYing our costume, but do not fear because there is no sewing involved, minimal craft knowledge is needed, it's pretty easy, and the whole thing was put together for less than $100, so really, in terms of cosplay, it's actually pretty cheap. So let's get to it. I'm so excited to show you this costume. So before I show you each piece of the costume and how it was either bought or made, I wanted to give a huge shout out to the inspiration for this idea. It's actually extremely, extremely random, <laughs> but the inspiration came from an Amazon review. So Peyton, if you are out there in the Potter online community and happen to be watching this video, super huge thank you for inspiring this idea. The first three pieces of this costume were purchased and not DIY'd. I will throw the links to where you can purchase them in the description below. So the first item to this DIY chocolate frog costume is a corset. This corset was purchased on Amazon and it was less than $30, which is super cheap for a corset and I think it's perfect for chocolate frogs. It kind of looks like the detailing from a chocolate frog box and it is a lace up back here and all you have to do is take your measurements and compare them to the size chart for the corset on Amazon and it's a quick click to buy that piece. It's super simple. The second piece to the chocolate frog costume is a skirt. Now this skirt is super nice and flowy and matches the corset super well. It is blue with gold sequins and you're going to maybe want to get some shorts to wear under this because when you move around it does show a little bit of side leg but if you're not worried about that then you're good to just buy this piece and this piece like the corset was found on Amazon and it was also less than $30. So you have the whole base of your costume already for less than $60. The next piece to this costume is shoes. Shoes you can get really personal with and wear whatever you want. You can wear sandals, you can wear boots. For me, I'm going to be wearing flats. So I like to reuse pieces of old costumes. I think it's like money saving and time saving. So I'm going to be reusing my golden snitch shoes for this. And if you wanted to do gold flats, I found a pair of those for you on Amazon through the link down in the description below for those if you want to do all your Amazon shopping for this costume at once. Or what I recommend is hopping by your local thrift store like Goodwill where you can find shoes for really cheap. That's actually how I get a lot of my cosplay shoes. So for the next item in your chocolate frog costume, we're getting our feet wet with a little teensy bit of DIY. So this chocolate frog here came from Walmart. It is $6.88 and to add a little flair to your chocolate frog costume, you can just pull this little guy right out of the package and you can put him on your shoulder now to get get them to stay on your shoulder <laughs> because obviously it isn't going to stay up there by itself you're just going to grab a little bit of double sided tape i got this at target and you're just going to pop a little bit on your shoulder and a little bit on the chocolate frog and you have a little chocolate frog to sit on your shoulder so we are currently four items deep into the chocolate frog costume, the corset, the skirt, the shoes, and the chocolate frog that will sit on your shoulder. We have two pieces left of the costume and they will both be DIY. So I'm going to show you how to make them and all the supplies you'll need for them now. So the first item for this DIY portion of the chocolate frog costume is a headband so we're going to be starting off with just a regular black headband this was purchased at target for three dollars i believe and we're just going to embellish it 
with some ribbon that was purchased at Michael's. Both of these together cost less than five dollars and when it's all said and done we're gonna put a chocolate frog box on the top. I'm actually going to be using a chocolate frog box from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios, but if you don't get to Universal Studios or don't have a chocolate frog box, Muggle Magic actually has a printable for a chocolate frog, and I'll throw that in the description below. Also, with all of the other supplies you're going to need for this DIY portion, and then to put it together, you can use the double-sided tape because, as you can see, the chocolate frog box doesn't stay closed very well on its own. And then to put the chocolate frog on the headband, we're going to be using some hot glue. So to start this project, you're going to need your headband, your blue ribbon. Here I actually got some thin blue ribbon. and. I got that because it's going to work well with both this craft project and the other one we need for the costume. And then you just need a hot glue gun. So to get started you're going to grab your band and just put a little dab of hot glue here on the end for the ribbon to stick onto at the beginning. Make sure to press that on there really, really well. Then you're just going to wrap your ribbon all the way around your headband. A nice tip is every so often it's nice to grab your hot glue gun and just put a little sprig down there so that your ribbon eventually won't slide all over the headband. Get it wrapped around the glue so it'll stay stuck in that place and then just continue with your wrapping and gluing every couple inches. Now don't worry too much about the fact that you might be able to see some black through here. We will be adding more embellishment to this and the chocolate frog box will actually hide some of this. But honestly I think that the layered look on this so far looks pretty cool. So to finish this off, just hot glue right here at the end. Get your ribbon stuck on that hot glue. And there we have it, the beginning to your chocolate frog headband here. If you have any black spots that are exposed, you can just move the fabric around in between the glue spots to hide those. And now we're going to add the gold embellishment for the headband. For the next step on your chocolate frog headband, you're going to want to grab your gold ribbon. The ribbon I chose was this ribbon right here, which was inspired by the chocolate frog headbands that Amy over at Geekably Cute makes. I will throw a link to her headband in the description below. Now to get the ribbon onto the headband, we're going to use our trusty hot glue here again. So just go ahead and very slowly get some glue on and start working your way up the band. Then when you get to the end here, we're just going to snip it off. And there you have it. The embellishment on our chocolate frog headband. Now the next thing we're going to do is put the chocolate frog box onto the headband. As you can see, it's going to be pretty big. If you wanted to get a smaller chocolate frog box, you can DIY one of your own like I mentioned previously Muggle Magic has one and I'll link to that in the description below I'm gonna go ahead and use my chocolate frog box and I'm just gonna throw a couple strips of hot glue on here to close up the box because it does tend to fall open pretty easily there we go and then I'm going to aim to put mine right about here. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of hot glue on the headband and get the chocolate frog box and hold it until it dries. I'll apply a lot of pressure here because you don't want this chocolate frog headband to fall off while you're wearing it. 
And there we have it. The chocolate frog headband is now complete. Now let's move on to the next project. All right, so now that we feel comfortable with the first DIY, let's move on to the second DIY, which is a chocolate frog arm cuff. So to make the arm cuff, you're going to need some wire. This can be found in so many different places. I purchased mine at Walmart for a few bucks. And then you're gonna take whatever color you want from your headband either the blue or the gold. You're also going to need polymer clay because we're gonna be making our own little chocolate frogs. This polymer clay was purchased with a Michaels coupon for 40% off. Super awesome trick if you're into DIYing. Be sure to check Michaels or Joann's for awesome coupons on their website. So with the coupon, this was $6. And then we have this super cute little chocolate frog mold that was purchased on Amazon and it was also six dollars and then we're gonna put the chocolate frogs on it with hot glue. Next we are going to create our chocolate frogs. Now to get a head start and save some time go ahead and heat up your oven for your clay to whatever temperature it says. Here mine says 275 so my oven has been preheated to that so when we make these molds the clay is ready to pop in. Now, I love the color of this clay. This clay is Craft Smart from Michaels. I think it's the perfect color for chocolate. Look at it. It actually kind of looks good enough to eat. Again, I have a problem with wanting to eat everything. <laughs> yeah, just pull out pieces of the clay here. Give them a little roll and squish them into the chocolate frog mold. Now if you bought the same mold that I did, you'll see there are a couple different frogs here. I'm only gonna use these frogs because they actually look like the chocolate frogs that are sold at Universal. So you're just gonna squish your little frog and make sure you get him all the way into the mold. So you gotta really squish down. It's really, really hard to get it into the eye area, but just keep working clay into the mold until you see that it's made it all the way up into the eye area. So you can just work the clay that you have in the back and keep pushing it forward and you know that you've got everything because it won't push any farther. Now, I'm not too worried about my chocolate frogs being perfect. You can kind of see that there are a couple little cracks inside of the mold. But for me, again, not a huge deal. Now we have this excess little buildup of clay on the tray. What we're going to do is grab my X-Acto knife and I'm just going to run it across the top. You can use any knife. I just had one of these on hand so I figured I would use it. It's a really good blade. You might need a couple separate runs of this, but eventually you'll want to get off all of the excess clay here. And then very carefully you're going to take your clay out of the mold. Don't worry if it gets bent up a little bit. We can put it back into its shape. Again, you don't need to be perfect because nobody's going to be judging the looks of your chocolate frogs, especially if you're going to a Harry Potter convention. People there are so, so nice. So I'm just working here to remold frog just a little bit because this little arm got squished and I was pulling it out. And the bottom, you really don't need to care about how that looks because it is going to be going on the arm cuff like this. So yeah, yeah, just craft as many of these as you want and pop them in the oven and go ahead and bake them. So while the clay is baking in the oven, we are going to take 
our wire. I cut about three feet for mine, and then we're going to wrap some more ribbon around it, just like we did with the headband. So I'm gonna do that now. Here is what the wire looks like after you get all the ribbon on it. So now you're just gonna bend this into whatever shape you want on your arm. Now after you get your arm cuff bent into shape, you're going to add on your chocolate frogs. I'm gonna put just three of them onto mine. And to do that, I'm going to use the hot glue. So I'm just gonna add a little hot glue to the bottom of one frog. And then place it onto the armband. Then I'm gonna add another one to the bottom here. Same way, put a little hot glue on the bottom of the top of frog. Make sure you really press it in there while it sets. And then I'm going to add one more here to the middle of my armband. And voila, you now have your chocolate frog costume. So I've actually decided to change something about the chocolate frog armband. I actually think it looks really cute down here. So I put the one end around my finger like a ring then added another chocolate frog to the wrist and unfortunately up here the chocolate frog at the top is just a little bit too heavy. It falls. So what I'm going to do to remedy this problem when I'm wearing it is actually add a strip of velcro to the back of here and then every time I wear it I'm just gonna velcro it to my skin so we have this little chocolate frog armband. Here is the completed look for the chocolate frog costume. This is obviously a little bit of a run fair style chocolate frog and I absolutely love it. It was super easy to make so here's the armband, the froggy, and the headband. If you like this cosplay be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up and if you want to see more cosplay creations as they come out be sure to click the subscribe button and notification bell down below and until next time stay magical my friends